not only are they really easy to make because they're only three ingredients. Yeah, they're filling, but they don't make you feel gross. Hang the umbrella in case you drop something. It's probably a custom order part and I want it fixed now. I'm Stephanie and this is Travis. Together we bought a Hunter 42 Passage that we call Gypsy. We sold almost everything that we owned and moved aboard. After living on Gypsy through a Toronto winter, we decided that we had to get down south. Though we've got very little sailing experience, we decided to leave it all behind in our home country Canada to live out our dream in sailing the world. We're so pumped to share this adventure of a lifetime. We're going to start the day by having some healthy pancakes. The nice thing about these pancakes, not only are they really easy to make because they're only three ingredients, we had a fourth because we like cinnamon. They are actually fluffy, like real pancakes. Because you know sometimes you make like protein pancakes and stuff and they're like really dense and they don't taste like pancakes at all. Well, these actually have a little bit of that like fluffy texture of a pancake when you bite into it. So, win, win, win. That's it for the batter. Nice that there's no sugar. It's like a pancake, yeah. but no sugar. So it's like we, besides the sugar in the bananas, but that's. And you can just top it off with syrup if you like, or like we usually just put preserves on it. Just because who eats pancakes dry? Like, I don't care how healthy you are. Who's eating pancakes dry? bit of fluffiness to them. Put a little bit of raspberry preserve on it and some mango. We're good to go. These have been our go-to, eh? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, they're filling, but they don't make you feel gross. Yeah, like, you know how sometimes after you eat pancakes, you're like, oh man, that was good, but we can't do that every day. Yeah. These you ones? Eat, yeah, you don't have any sort of gross feel. It's yeah. crazy. It's kind of cool. Is that your um, catcher? Yeah. Hang the umbrella in case you drop something and it falls in the umbrella. Ideally. What are you doing though? Oh, we're placing the Well, it's roller? got some play in here, so I just wanted to put. I thought we were going to replace that thing. We were, but we can't find another one. So I just want to put some spaces in there so it doesn't go clink, clink, clink in the chain. So the chains in here goes goes back and forth. So just wanted to put a spacer. Ready to see if we can go try to find some fish? Yeah, we're not catching it ourselves because we suck. So we're gonna go head over to the fish market and see if we can get some tuna. Because I want to make some poke bowls. Some yellow fin tuna? Yeah. Come back to laundry. We'll get the fish first. And then we'll take out some garbage, find some fish. Got to go to the marine store to find a filter. Fish first. I don't yeah. like sitting there all day. Let's go. We're just going to be like two seconds. Go check out some fish. Yeah. Ooh. That's a big yellow fin. Is that uh, how much per pound for the... $8 a pound. Two 
pounds? Can we get two pounds of that? That's two pounds. There you go. Got you a little bit of local lettuce that we got from the open air market the other day. This lettuce is really good. It's just a little more uh, dense, I guess, than what we prefer. We like the crunch of the romaine, so we're just going to mix in some romaine with the local lettuce that we got. Throw in some chickpeas. We're not having chicken in it today, so we're going to load it up with chickpeas. And just throw them all in there. Cranberries. Just some more red onions. And some goat cheese. It's like my favorite part. Croutons, onions. It's weird garlic croutons in this, but it doesn't mix. Man, it's hot. There's no way hot lunches are happening anymore. There's no way. So, I'm used to eating veggies. Bucko. Looks good. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Today's project this hose leaks right under here, and then it drips down there, and it drips down here, and it corrodes the, the crap out of all this stuff. I can't seem to find this hose, so I'm going to try to make one. I just went and found uh, a one inch 90 degree elbow. I got some old uh, water system hose and I'm going to see if I can make it work. So I don't need to go find a custom hose just for that spot. So you can tell obviously it's leaking from there. And like I said, you can't find, I can't find this thing online anywhere. I'm pretty sure if I went to a Yammer dealer, I'd be able to find it, but it's probably a custom order part and I want it fixed now. So just came up with that. It's our raw water, so it's not like super heated or anything. It's the in intake side, so it shouldn't matter if it's, uh, has a plastic 90 degree fitting. Let's see when it's done. Here we go. This is the old one. That's right here and you can tell over time when salt water drips down, it'll start to corrode all this stuff. So trying to figure out your leaks sooner than later is gonna be better. Let's see if it works. I uh, just ran the motor for 20 minutes or so, got it to running temperature and gave it some RPMs. We haven't put it under load yet, but I don't think that's going to be a big difference. Seems to be working, so that's cool. I'll eventually have to find that exact part just because I'd rather have it proper Yamar part in there, but for now, she works good. She doesn't leak nothing. She just looks kind of ghetto. Let's see, it's right here. It's just the raw water 
intake side, so there's no heat in it or anything. It's just the temperature of the ocean. The only thing I got to worry about is the turbo right here. That gets hot with that plastic elbow, but I think it'll be fine. I don't think it's going to get too hot where it's going to melt it. But it'll work for now until we get the actual part again. Making things work. Got some stuff to make the poke bowls, got some cucumber, we have carrots in the fridge, some sesame seeds. I'm just gonna rinse the tuna first. The machetes or the knives and all the stuff that they're using to hack into the fish probably aren't the cleanest, so I'm just gonna rinse it in some vinegar and some water. Um, that's what a local had told us that they do with a lot of their meats. I've never done this before, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I mean, if I just slosh it around, that's good enough, right? Too late. I'm just preparing my poke with um, soy sauce, sesame oil, some red onions, and some green onions. I'm gonna let that sit in the fridge while I'm making the uh, rice. Gosh, it smells so good. It's almost ready. I think Travis is going to do something different with his. I think he's going to sear his, but. Ooh, there it is. It's time for the taste test. That is really good. You're going to like mine. Travis is going to make his a different way. He's going to like sear the tuna. It tastes just like the poke that I had in Hawaii. Cause I usually always get the one with soy sauce and sesame oil and it tastes just like it. It's so good and I'm really happy about this. Do you know what you're doing? Nope. <laughs> I saved you a couple of pieces of mine and some vegetables. Oh, well, should have too late now. It's too much. Take it off the heat, take it off the heat. It's supposed to be like a snack snack. A little overcooked, but I think you'll still like it probably. Yeah, it's a little bit raw in there still. So. Next time just do like a quick tss, tss. That looks good. everything. You do like a spicy mayo too. You have that. You do? Yeah, you just make it. Mayo and sriracha. Works for me. Did you like yours better or mine better? Mine. Why? Because I know it was a little bit cooked. It's fine. I got a more sensitive stomach than you anyway, so. Here. Hmm. That's not bad.